treacherous for Pioni Sisto. He uh, prepares to take the corner. Oh, it's a poor punch! And punished by Cabral. Celta Vigo lead. Awful goalkeeping from Moya. Five minutes gone, and what a gift for the visitors. Well, that's horrendous for Miguel Moya. He's got his opportunity because Jan Black is injured. But that falls straight to Cabral. Doesn't have to move anywhere. That's his first La Liga goal of the season. But once again, you wonder whether or not the weather has got something to play its part. The decent ball from Sisto from the corner to start off with. Not quite sure what on earth Moya is doing. But as he punches it, he punches it straight to Cabral. And he doesn't have to do anything. All he's got to do is guide that header back towards the goal. And it's a gift. Well, he'll do well to blame the weather conditions on that. It was just a rank bad decision from Miguel Angel Moya. Cabral accepted the Torres. And that's why he'll end up staying here next year, not just because of that, but also with the transfer ban that they've, uh, they've got. A well, smart effort from Torres! That is sensational! No other word for it! Such improvisation and accuracy! Rolling back the years, Fernando Torres! Well, that's what I'm saying, that's why he's staying here because he can do something that other players can't do. And you never thought that was what he's going to do. He's back towards the goal. Is the ball going to be coming in from Carrasco into the path of Fernando Torres? And all it is, he has a quick look up, and then it's just a little bicycle kick, overhead kick, as you'd like to say. Right over Alvarez, the keeper. He's got no chance whatsoever. Confidence last week, scored a brace against Leganes. He's got another one again, and this is what we want to see from Fernando Torres. We know. Hugo Mayo for Guidetti. Drops for Josebed. Hit the post. Moya was beaten there. And when the ball came back. Well, I was just wondering whether or not Moya just gets the faintest of touches on this, onto the post. It's a great strike to start off with. Maybe if it, with a different angle, we might see it better, but it's an excellent strike from Josebed. Great intervention, wasn't it, from Johnny Otto? Here's Kuki. Oh, now then, down goes Carrasco. This time, Atletico Madrid do get a penalty. And I don't think there was any doubt about that. I'll have a word with Senor Hernandez, but his decision was instant. Well, he does so well, Carrasco, doesn't he, inside the 18 yard box? Is it Pablo Hernandez who leaves a, a foot in? We have a little look. It's, it's... Torres then up against Alvarez. Oh, wraps back off the woodwork. Goalkeeper had guessed the wrong way. And Atletico Madrid miss yet another penalty. Well, you just wonder whether or not they have to put that much pace behind the ball. Leaning backwards. As you mentioned, the keeper's gone the wrong way. Cannon's off the crossbar. That's an op opportunity wasted by the home side. Simeone will be tempted to get his boots on and be the next penalty taker. Found by Aspas. And now Guidetti finishes this time. What a way to respond from John Guidetti. A superb counter attack from Celta Vigo. And they get rich reward for it. Well, this is a superb goal from Celta Vigo. Missed a great opportunity just moments ago, Guidetti. But given another opportunity, slides it into the back of the net. What a great ball that is from Iago Aspas. But then it's the vision from Vaz to hit that first time into the path. There's the weight. And you talk sometimes about placement and about the, the pace of the ball. That's all about the placement.
It's a fantastic counter-attacking goal. One touch, football all round the park. And it's duly rewarded with a great goal. Not sure what Savic was thinking about. Hands behind his back. Carrasco, Koke. In by Gabby. Up goes Lucas. Drops for Yannick Carrasco. Superb! Well, the first goal of the four we've seen tonight might have been a scrappy one. The other three have been eye-catching. Just open that top drawer, file that one right in for Yannick Carrasco. Two each at the Vicente Calderon. Oh, what a strike that is from Yannick Carrasco. Under immense pressure, Salta Vigo, not able to clear their lines properly. And then eventually the ball is headed out by Roncaglio into the path of Carrasco. You could turn around and say, well, could have done better with the header, could have been a lot higher, could have been closed down a bit quicker. But let's not take it away from the volley from Carrasco. Technique absolutely spot on. Body shape. Sergio Alvarez, no chance. Gabby. Correa. Here's the chance now! Brilliantly worked! Antoine Griezmann. Just about the quietest player on the pitch tonight. Simeone away to celebrate. Another high-class goal and a high-class evening at the Vicente Calderon. Cometh the hour, cometh the man, and he... ...all evening, 28 minutes. And then you think, has he scored the winner? It's been an unbelievable last 10 minutes of this game. But have a little look. The ball's clipped towards the far post. It's a cushion header into the path of Antoine Griezmann. And there with his right foot, he steers it away. It's Kevin Gamero. Just puts it on a plate for Antoine Griezmann. He isn't going to miss from there. You know how many strikers in the position Gamero was in would have the presence of mind at 2-2 late on in a match not to go...